In this video, we're gonna be covering a new tool that's on our website called CW Checker. And this video is gonna be a little bit different. We're just gonna go with the flow instead of doing very much editing. But hi, I'm Mike, N4FFF. And I'm Becky, N4BKY. Recently, Becky and I both got some new to us stray keys. I got a JJ38. And I got a Vibroplex presentation bug. And both of these are mechanical and don't require the use of any kind of key or you're probably familiar with the straight key. And the bug does and a mechanical dot. A special thanks to Forrest KI7QCF and Adam AI4UH that pointed me in the right direction of this beautiful key. And we're gonna put a, some links in the descriptions to some videos because we are brand new newbies to the bug. In fact, this is Becky's bug. I don't plan on le learning it at least <laughs> He's right not now. a bug guy yet. But it, um, in one of the videos, they talk about how to set up the bug using software that's only available for Windows. And we're Mac people, so it wasn't available. So we're gonna show you a tool called CW Checker that is useful for bugs, but also just for checking your sending and stuff like that in general. And it, in order to be able to use this, you need to be able to have a V-band or a Veil adapter, um, which we've talked about in some of our other videos, and it allows you to interface your key with your computer. The reason we needed to create something and use CW Checker is because when you create DITs, you really don't know how fast the key is going, and this helps you determine your words per minute. To kick us off, uh, I'm just gonna do a really quick overview of the tool. So. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start it on one of the keyer modes. I'm going to use iambic B so I can use my paddle, and I can t and in this mode I can key in letters. Um, and so you can what you see on the bottom is the timing comparison of the last letter that you keyed in. So you can see that it is decoding me correctly, and you can see the ideal uh, spacing is on the top, and the actual is on the bottom. And then also it calculates the words per minute. Um, in this case, it's set at 24, so it is going to spit out 24. So it's exactly that. It'll be different when we get to the straight keys. So if you also, in this section, this is the timing stats of the last 20 dits or dies. And you can see that for 24 words per minute, the, uh, a dit would be this long and a da would be this long. And so that's rep the ideal is represented by this little blue bar here. If this seems like a lot, it'll make sense, uh, I think, in a little bit when we give a couple more examples. But what's being shown here is that our actual dit length is right about exactly what it should be for ideal, and our DAW length is exactly what it should be for ideal, and the averages right here are 52 and 143. So let me like bump it to something a little bit more normal. And so in developing this, I noticed that things don't line up 100%. And so why don't they if it's actually an electronic key? Or, uh, my current theory is that that's just the inherent delay in processing things from a USB device and stuff like that. But what you can see is that there's a thin little line here and it lines up exactly with what the ideal is. And then also the dit to DAW ratio um, based on just pure Morse code is three to one. So your DAWs are supposed to be three times the length of your DITs. And so we can tell that it's pretty close to that. And that's the difference here. So yeah. now let's test our straight key fist and our new bug. This is where things start to change. So <laughs> I'll embarrass myself first and I'll okay. use the straight key and do the same thing. But this time I will put it in straight key mode. And I'm gonna click clear input just out of habit. And then I'm gonna type in, I'm gonna key in my call sign. What we can see here compared to the paddles is that my dit to da ratio is off by a little bit, 3.57 to one instead of three to one. And we can see that here by how far that is off. Uh, I think I sometimes have a little bit longer DAWs than I'm supposed to. <laughs> and, and then here you can see the spread, it's not as skinny as it was before, but it's not that bad. But if I actually was doing an even poorer job keying in, 
can see here that now my spread is pretty far out because I had um, I keyed poorly. Your dits are, I mean, your daws are a lot longer than your dits. Yes. <laughs> the and, ratio is a lot longer. And one of the things that Becky said when she got her bug is that she's going to practice enough to where hopefully it's really hard to tell she's on a bug before yeah. she gets on the air. I think what a lot of times you hear is the dits are going so fast and then the daws, you have to do it manually and they tend to be a lot longer. Why might you use this tool? Um, personally, I think the best thing for me is listening to and practicing to computer generated Morse code because then I kind of know what it should sound like rather than using a tool like this. But every once in a while, it might be good to just kind of check yourself and see uh, how, how you're doing. I want to do mine and see how good I do. Okay, so I'm going to go. Ready? Yeah. Yep, your ratio was still really good, and your these are still pretty skinny, so your variance from your for your each every did, did and da is not that much different either. Yay! Nice. So, hopefully that uh, makes sense now that there's a couple examples of what it's showing you and how you might use the information here. Now for the bug stuff. All right. So the da contact is right here, which is completely manual. You have to every time you hit it and need a da, you have to hit it. So you're one to one. You're 100 100% responsible for the timing on that one, right? Right. And the dits happen here on the pendulum, which is kind of feels mechanical, but I mean, kind of feels like a keyer, but it's still mechanical. But what I needed to know was how fast is this actually sending? I have the weights as far out here, as slow as it can go, but I kind of want to know how fast that is. Yeah, and so based on what you've keyed in so far, it looks like it's just under 25 words per minute. Let me reset it and maybe send some H's in a row. So you can see how well it lines up. That last one lined up really good. And it's got you know, just right under 26 words yeah. per minute. So another reason why we did that is if it's not lining up well, you might need to do some adjustments in here with your contact, which is what we learned and why we wanted to develop this app. Yeah. And again, we're going to link to a video from um, people that know a lot more about bugs than we right. do. It's just, if you are in the same situation as us and you don't have access to windows, uh, maybe this tool will be, will be helpful. What that tells me is this key or, or this key is wanting to send at about 25 words a minute. And I definitely do not send that fast. So if I need to do my DAWs, I know they have to be a lot quicker than I'm used to. And the only way to adjust it is to move the weights out further, right? So right. this key's already slowed down as much as it can right. be. But Adam is, he's actually gonna send me, which is really nice of him, he's gonna send me, he builds extenders so that I can put the weights out further and slow this down even more. So I'm excited about that. And does he sell those? He does sell them and we have a link to his channel so you can check it out if you wanna slow your bug down. Do you want to send some, try to send some things? Yes, maybe. Um, let's so, see, I'll so, try my call sign. Yeah, so Becky's brand new, got this like... Uh, like two days ago, I just cleaned it up. Isn't it beautiful? All right, ready? Here, let me restart. Okay. All right, go. All right, the decoder didn't pick up those two. <laughs> and you can see that you're... Your dit die ratio is actually not that bad, but it's, it's 3.74 to one. Right, but look how far the dits are. I mean, the daws are a lot longer because I should be sending daws at a ratio to match 25 words a minute. So I really need to make them shorter. Okay, and that didn't, so that couldn't decode you, but, and I think if you're trying to practice your sending Personally, I think in the current form, I trust the decoder well enough to use it as a target. It may not be perfect, and I'll probably improve it over time, but it's based off of the decoder from Eddie, K-E-6-E-E-K. -E -E Thanks, Eddie. He's yep. the author of Morse Invaders. Yes. Almost said Space Invaders. <laughs> um, a great web-based tool for practicing Morse code. Um, I think a reason why it's not decoding the key or the bug is because I'm really not sending like a keyer Do you want because, to try again? Yeah, because my DAWs are a lot longer than the dits. Okay, I'm gonna try to do it faster. Nope. <laughs> Still bad. Ready, Forrest? This is for you.
Yay! Yay! Wow, good I job. I did it! <laughs> so, if any of y'all end up trying this and you want to film it with your phone and show us what the CW Checker shows for you, we'd, lo we'd love to see it. <laughs> Whoa! And your uh, dot ratio is pretty good too. So that's the tool. If you want to use it, it'll be on our website. I'm sure it needs lots of improvements, and if time allows, I'll continue to improve it. If you already use one of the Fist Checker programs and it's missing something that you would need for a bug or something like that, let us know. But thanks for watching. Try out yeah. the tool. Let us know what you think. Hopefully yeah. it's helpful. And if you hadn't subscribed already, please do so. It really does help us out. And we're also adding a, a link to buy us a coffee if you'd like. And we've had several people uh, who have already donated to us. And thank you so much. Every little yes. bit uh, helps support our addiction. <laughs> <laughs> and we uh, appreciate you watching. And thanks for all the support, everybody. <laughs> but let me try one more thing. This is for you, Forrest. Uh, Yay! Almost. Hey, that's not bad. Yeah, so when she was practicing that uh, <laughs> last, last night, I was like, hey, it sounds like forest in the other room. <laughs>